Hello children how are you all today we are going to learn geography children in last lesson video we had a learn the weather and the climate on the earth we saw the elements that affect on the weather and the climate in all these element the temperature is considered as the most significant element than that of the other elements of weather and climate children the sun is the main source of temperature on the earth and the energy from the sun is available in form of light and heat on the earth so children we will see how this sun energy effect on the temperature of the earth in our this lesson lesson number 5 temperature children let's see how this sun energy effect on the temperature of the earth first point sun rays falling on earth surface so children sun rays are travel in straight line and parallel to each other but the earth surface is spherical in shape and the rays of the sun are not perpendicular to all the parts of the earth surface sun rays are perpendicular near the equator of the earth and they become more and more slant as we move further away from the equator towards the north and south pole so children this is how the sun rays are falling on the earth surface sun rays are perpendicular near the equator and they become more and more slant as we move further away from the equator towards the north and south pole Let's see how the sun rays are effect on the different parts of the earth. So children, the perpendicular sun rays of the sun occupy lesser area of the earth and this area receive bright sunshine and the surface there more heated and thus the air near the surface become hotter. Whereas slant rays of the sun occupy larger area of the earth and such areas appear less bright and the surface there get less heated and air near the surface also less hot so children the sun rays are perpendicular near the equator therefore the sun rays occupy lesser area this area receive bright sunshine and the surface there more heated whereas as we move further away from the equator towards the north and south pole the sun rays become a slant therefore this sun rays occupy larger area and such areas appear less bright and the surface there get less heated so children this is the effects of the sun rays on the different parts of the earth children based on this unequal distribution of the heat the earth is divided in three zone these are called thermal zone so children let's see the causal condition behind this dividation of thermal zone or a temperature zone number 1 due to the spherical shape of the earth and the curvature of the surface of the earth for this reason sun rays occupy larger or lesser area in the different parts of the earth children sun rays are perpendicular near the equator therefore they occupy lesser area and the surface there is more heated whereas as we move further from the equator towards the north and south pole the sun rays become a slant and therefore they occupy larger area and the surface there is less heated so children this is the condition is led to unequal distribution of the heat receive from the sun which is result in decreasing temperature from the equator towards the north and the south pole children based on this distribution of temperature the earth is divided into three zone these are called thermal zone and this thermal zone are number 1 torrid zone or a tropical zone and this torrid zone or tropical zone is stretching from 23 degree 
थर्टी मिनट्स नॉर्थ लैटिट्यूड टू ट्वेंटी थ्री डिग्री थर्टी मिनट साउथ लैटिट्यूड सेकेंड टेम्परेट जोन एंड दिस टेम्परेट जोन इज स्ट्रेचिंग फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी थ्री डिग्री थर्टी मिनट्स लैटिट्यूड अप टू सिक्सटी सिक्स डिग्री थर्टी मिनट्स लैटिट्यूड इन बोथ नदर्न एंड सदर्न हेमिसफियर नंबर थ्री फ्री जोन और अ पोलार रीजन एंड दिस फ्री जोन इज स्ट्रेचिंग फ्रॉम सिक्सटी सिक्स डिग्री थर्टी मिनट्स लैटिट्यूड अप टू नाइंटी डिग्री लैटिट्यूड इन बोथ नदर्न एंड सदर्न हेमिसफियर सो चिल्ड्रेन दिस इज लैटिट्यूड इज द मेन फैक्टर दैट इन्फ्लुएंस द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन टेम्परेचर Children, beside this latitudinal factor, there are other factor that also influence the change in the temperature, and hence the local climate too. And these are number one, nearness to the sea. So, children, we had to learn the climate in the coastal region is humid due to the nearness to the sea. Second, during the daytime, the sea water get heated slowly. and at night the water cools in slower manner therefore the temperature in the coastal region is lower during the day time and warmer during the night time so children this is how the nearness to the sea is effect on the temperature of region second continentality children let's see how this factor effect on the continental area continental area means region which is far away from the sea and children we had a learn as we move away from the sea the moisture content in the air gradually become a decrease and the climates become a dry and second land get heated faster and cool rapidly therefore the temperature in the continental area is higher during the day time and lower at the night time so children this is how this factor effect on the temperature of the region next number 3 height above means sea level so children we had a learn in last lesson as we move upward from the sea level the temperature of air is decreasing so this is how height above means sea level this factor effect on the temperature of the region next number 4 physical setup of a region so children according to the physical setup of a region for example mountain plateau plain temperature is goes on changing next number 5 cloud cover cloud rain these factor also effect on the temperature of the region next number 6 winds so children local winds of that region also effect on the temperature of the region for example due to the monsoon winds which are blowing in india the climate in india is monsoon type and these winds are also cause rains in all over the india next low winds which are blowing in the northern india in summer season these are cause suddenly rise in temperature so children this is how the local winds or winds are effects on the temperature of region next number 7 vegetation cover so children trees forest are also influence the temperature we know that deforestation is also cause on increasing temperature so children this is also main factor which is influence the temperature of region next number 8 urbanization so children this is urbanization growing population their changing needs are also effect on the temperature of region next industrialization these also cause of rise in temperature so children these are factor which are also influence the temperature of region nearness to the sea continentality height above mean sea level physical setup of a region cloud cover wind vegetation cover urbanization industrialization all these factors are also influence the temperature of region next let's see how the change in the temperature of land air and water so children land and water get heated due to the sun rays and later both land and water radiate the heat they have observed to surrounding and due to this 
the air closer to surface of land and water get heated first and later this heat get transferred vertically upward to the adjacent layer of the air hence the layer of the air near the land and the water surface is hotter and the temperature of air goes on decreasing as we move upward from the surface due to this the temperature near the sea level is higher and its decrease in the mountain region so children this is how the change in the temperature of land air and water let's see what is the diurnal and annual range of temperature so children as compared to the water land get heated fast and also cool rapidly hence the air above the land get heated fast and also cool rapidly while the air above the water get heated slowly and also cool in slower manner due to this the temperature of air in the coastal region is lower during the day time and warmer during the night time and also due to the heating of sea water in coastal region the water vapor get mixed with the air and hold the heat in it for a longer time hence the air in the coastal region is moist and warm whereas the temperature of air in the continental area is higher during the day time and lower at night time and also due to the absence of water vapor in the continental region the air in this region is dry and result in the sharp difference in the air temperature during the day and night time so children the difference in the maximum and minimum temperature of day is called diurnal range of temperature thus the difference in the day and the night temperature is less in the coastal area and more in the continental area the climate is equalable in coastal region while it is extreme in the continental area for example the diurnal range of temperature is less in the konkan because konkan is located in coastal region and it is high in vidarbha because nagpur amravati these places are located in continental area hence the climate of mumbai is equalable and that of the nagpur is extreme children the difference in the temperature of summer and winter is called annual range of temperature the difference in the maximum and minimum temperature of day is called diurnal range of temperature while the difference in the temperature of summer and winter is called annual range of temperature so children thus from this lesson we had to learn how this temperature is influenced by various factor and therefore we get to see the diversity in temperature in the various region on the earth thank you